Subtractive and additive colors are two ways of having our eyes see the colors that are in the world. What you need to be able to do is explain to me the difference between additive and subtractive colors. Tell me a device that would use this scheme and tell me what RGB and CMYK mean in terms of computers and printers. All of us remember finger painting in school. We were given a set of primary colors and we could mix them together. And instead of getting this lovely splash of color, we often wound up with just kind of a poop brown in general. Sort of like what's happening here on my daughter's fingers. And But finger painting was a magical time until you realized what a terrible mess you made and you needed to be cleaned up. So this was a montage of pictures I took of my daughter finger paint painting one day and I layered them in the hopes of sort of capturing the magic afternoon that she spent with these finger paint paints. And if you're watching this on a computer, you're seeing it in RGB, but in real life it was paint, so it was CMYK system. The three primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. If you add them all together, they will create a white spot, which makes sense. Take a blue light, add a green light to it, add a red light, you keep adding more light, so the final result is brighter than before. If you take away all three colors, you're left with blackness. So anything that uses light itself is RGB. So a classic example would be spotlights or lasers. There's actual real light being created and the absence of light makes blackness. Devices that use this would be spotlights, any monitors of any kind, light bulbs. But this does not explain paint. Paint has a primary color scheme of cyan, magenta, and yellow. And for computer printers, they also add black. Since B was already taken for blue, black is K, C-M-Y-K, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. When you mix these three paints, the result will get darker than before, as in it will head to black. Now in practice, uh, practical life, if you mix those three colors, you will get an extremely dark brown uh, instead of getting a true black, but it should be there. Now, why do printers have a black cartridge? Um, this black cartridge is to save you ink. If these three inks were used to make black, you would use three times as much ink as a dedicated black cartridge. Uh, so it saves you a lot of money. And since black is the most frequent color in use, a good printer usually has a much larger black cartridge than the other three. And you will get a much better black than you will with these three because they will come out of more of a really, really dark brown. So any print process is, uses CMYK. Sometimes they get fancier, but this is the most common. Here is an example of a Canon printer. Can all teachers please put your recycling out in the halls for our pickup period four? That's all teachers, please put your recycling out in the hall came so close to finishing this. Nine cartridges of color. Look at that. Four of them are black and five of them are color. And that's the price you pay. So you can exceed CMYK. You can exceed RGB. You can go crazy with different colored lights and different colored inks, but you need a minimum of three and you can do the entire spectrum and you don't even need the black. So these are the two print processes we use in our world, and that's all you need to know about them.